What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man, back with another video unboxing for you here today. Uh, I've got a special request for a word from my sponsor today. It's Tony D. Tony D on the Penny Orlando, Penny One Orlando video. This video said, "How about John 6:35 for the next scripture from our sponsor?" He said, "Our sponsor," because he sponsors really every single one of us. It's just whether or not we want to accept that sponsorship. So I'm going to read uh, John 6:35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Pretty sure I did this on, uh, used this one on one of my Pat and Bread videos. You know, bread, get it, huh? Because um, I try to connect things. This isn't connected necessarily to the shoe, but I wanted to do it for Tony. And when I first read that, I'm like, I don't even remember. Maybe I should go watch that video, see what I said in that one. I'm like, no, I'm sure God has another word for me. So today, on my way to social status, where Hesper was wearing these so that we could uh, get in the in-store raffle for the Penny One Orlando collab with that they have. I was wearing these, I don't know if you can see my, I was wearing my social status, Dunks. Um, we started discussing it and I was like, let's, let's read a little bit around it. So the beginning of that chapter, uh, John 6, 35, I think, uh, or John 6, that's where Jesus fed the 5,000 men plus women and children, so it's probably more like 10,000, maybe more, uh, with the three loaves and two fish, I think it is, two loaves, three fish, it doesn't really matter, it was something very, I don't think it really matters, something very minuscule compared to the number of people that they had to feed, and even after that, even after Jesus blessed that food and ended up having 12 baskets of leftovers after there was only one basket to begin with, these people still wanted uh, like a sign to show that he was Christ. Like they were impressed that he fed them and they listened to him that he, because he fed them, but they weren't really listening to his message. Uh, and, and then they said, well, you know, Moses made manna come down from heaven, even though he didn't really make it happen. It just happened when he was there. And Jesus was like, no, he did. But like, that was just food. And what I gave you was food. And I think it's that that these people were just so fixated on food and they wanted some sign. He's like, I, even though he had just gave, given them a sign, I think that's something we do so many times in our lives. We have these things happen to us. We have these things that like, we just try to write off as coincidences maybe. And like, they're really not. And I know that's happened in my life. And uh, we're like, give me a sign, give me a sign, even though there's been signs. And finally Jesus, I think he's probably maybe getting a little like, uh, not, not aggravated but impatient maybe because they're just not getting it and they're only thinking about the food and he's like I am the bread of life the, the manna from heaven didn't save the Israelites the food that he just gave the 5,000 men didn't save anybody they fed them they were good for now for a moment until they were gonna be hungry again shortly thereafter but he's like I'm I'm the bread of life like you come to me and you get saved and that was what uh, Hesper and I, as we were talking in the car, we kind of we kind of settled on like yeah, that's that's really what we're feeling about this. What God's telling us right now. So, like we think about food, we think about shoes, and I think I talk about favor from God as we get all these shoes. Because when I was at social status, not only did I get in on the raffle that I'm probably going to hit on, uh, but I also managed to get another pair of shoes that I was looking for that I slept on. Literally, I was asleep. Um, like these things can just they only go so long. You know, I get a pair of shoes that I that I actually like. I've talked about that before too. Like, all that stuff will let you down. Food that you eat, no matter uh, how it's 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 given to you or where it comes from, it, it's not meant to sustain your life or or sustain it for good. It's it's momentary. It's uh, it, it, it's fleeting to say it. And he's there to save you from everything and to to give you everlasting life. And it's like he just kind of had to give it in. Give it to the people he was talking to in the form of a food parable. So let's get into this one. Oh, so Tony D, tell me what you think about that and uh, and what that verse means to you. My other guys from camp, anybody else, Vadim, all of y'all, y'all let me know what you think about Romans, not Romans. John 635. I'm not looking at it anymore, so I forgot. All right, so I slept. I was asleep for these uh, yesterday morning, actually, it's Sunday today. These came out on Saturday, and I was a little. Uh, Disappointed that I wasn't able to go for them because I kind of wanted them. I got another pair of similar to this coming in, similar coming in the mail soon. I think it'll be here Wednesday, and I really wanted to be able to compare the two. I'll do that once I get the other ones in the next video. But this is the Air Jordan One Low Retro OG Black 
bleached coral and white. Um, with all that's going on in the world with uh, people getting offended and stuff like that, I'm surprised they call this bleached coral because bleached coral is a result of uh, too much sun, too little ozone, I guess, between or, or atmosphere in, and the temperatures of the oceans rising. And uh, that's how coral bleaches. So as has been bleached. Here we go. This is the bleached coral. We'll just call this pink for now because it's basically pink. Uh, I like pink on my shoes. I like subtle pink. I'd like just a little bit of pink. We got more pink laces if I want to put those in there. We got pink. Uh, this is different. Pink uh, insole. Okay. This is. I think I remember. Yeah. Dream cell. This is the dream cell, which is slightly better than the the usual. Without somebody back here, Haley can't tell me what this is. Uh, ortholite insole, it's a little bit better than that, but not great. Again, we like polyurethane much, much better. It's a whole lot more rigid than this. It stands up a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit more springy, so I'm not gonna put that back in right now. Um, let's see, let's talk about these materials. So this uh, pink material is suede. It's a pretty nice suede. It's kind of rough. It's not buttery, but it's nice suede. I like this suede. So that's awesome, I like that. And then let's talk about this black. The white leather is just normal white leather, normal white midsole uh, or cup sole. Um, this is not sale, which is kind of surprising because almost everything coming out is, but the black. The black is interesting because it's cracked. So let's see if I can get you a little bit of enough close here. Um, it's not cracked and nasty like the uh, Taupe Haze Jordan 4s, not the Unions, but the other ones that was like flaking off, like that's kind of gross. Um, it's not like those, so uh, I, I like that. I like this a whole lot better. This is supposedly pretty close to what the Chicago reimagined that are coming out next year, what the collar is supposed to be made of. I think it's a little bit more cracked than this, and you can see some of the, the under, the color of whatever's under the black paint coming through on those than on this one, but very gluey. Um, but this is a nice shoe. I like this and, and I, I think I might keep this. I'm not really sure. We've talked about this before. I, when I first started making videos a little over a year ago, I didn't know what the difference between a normal one low. You probably can't see those up there. So this is a normal one low, a cheaper one. Although this was an SE because it's got a bunch of nice uh, suede and nubuck on it. I loved the shoe wore it for a lot for a really long time. And uh, your one low OG, which this is the OG, so you can pretty clearly see the cut up here is different. And uh, this is different on that. The wings is up here and it's stamped as opposed to being embroidered down here. So that's one difference. But this is a one low OG. And this is actually the OG version because this is done in, in OG fashion. So, of course, this particular one has a giant reverse swoosh on this side, but you can compare the medial side swoosh in these two, and this swoosh is slightly oversized. This one is oversized, this one's not. This is just your standard cut swoosh. But I think one of the more, maybe not one of the more, uh, another difference, or two more differences here, is this has one, two, three on this, uh, uh, this overlay, three lace holes, three lace holes here that's laced through, one in the back. This one has one, two, three, one, two, three, six, seven, eight. So seven and eight on the actual OG. But I think this is the main difference. These are both size 11. Look at the width on that toe box compared to this one. It's just the way that it's cut really. Uh, and it's just cut different. And this is, this is the, the current non-OG shape of this toe box. This is the actual OG. So I kind of wish if they're gonna call this an OG that they would make it an OG. I do appreciate the cut better, and the OGs generally get better material than the non-OGs, although that purple, the core purple was really nice material because it was an SE, like a special edition. Um, you also get Nike Air on the tongue of these, as opposed to, I think, Jumpman. I'm not sure. I think it's just a Jumpman on the tongue of the other ones. Uh, on the tongue of the other ones, you also have a 23 on this little tongue lace holder. Uh, I didn't lace it through on this one, but I probably should. So. For these being called OG, kind of disappointing, um, but there's been a lot of these lately in the last maybe year and a half, 
that have been called OG that just aren't OG. It was the Royal Toe Low OGs and the Bread Low OGs that came out three or four years ago that went on sale that actually were like the last ones other than the collabs like the Travis Scott that were really full OG and uh, you're just not getting that anymore unless they go to collabs. So this is what we get for the OG and I'm not mad at it. Uh, I would prefer to have the, the wide toe box and the oversized swooshes, but this will do uh, and it's only 130 bucks. So as far as Jordans go, it's fairly cheap. You get the Jordan, you get the good, uh, you get the Jordan 1, um, you get the good materials and uh, this is this is a good summer vibe right here. I like these colors. So let me know what y'all think about this down below in the comments. And let me know if, so I got the Mystic Blue, Mystic Navy, maybe whatever they are. Those are coming on Wednesday. Let me know what you like more. If it's these or those, if you're not sure what those are, then just wait. And you can tell me down below, you gotta wait um, to see the other ones because that video will come out later this week. Uh, let me know if you would drip these. I think Grandma, Grandma, I think Grandma would like these. My, my mother, I think she would like these because they're, they're lows. She's got a Travis Scott's though, so she knows the OG OG. Um, so she probably doesn't want another pair of these. I know she doesn't want another pair of shoes, period. But I think she would wear these. Um, and I think she'd like these. She's not huge on pink, but I think she would probably like these better than the black ones that we're, that we're getting in a couple of days. So again, let me know what y'all think about these. Comment down below about John 635. Tell me what you think about it. If there's anything God is speaking to you about it, and tell your grandma because she may be interested in these. Did I say smash the like button? If I didn't, smash the like button. I'll see you next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>